16 athletes, 7 events, 3 team events. Uh, we get ready for the NCAA Indoor National Championship. Do you like this team? Do you like this group that you're taking to Mankato? Yeah, the men's team has been uh, has had a real good season from basically from start to finish. Um, I think we've started out ranked 17th or 18th in the country, and we moved into the top five, and I think we finished off the year ranked sixth going in. So, uh, pretty diverse group: sprinters, relays, distance runners. Um, so it's it's a very nice group that we're bringing. Uh, women four by four that we're bringing. It's a very experienced group. Has been to nationals two, three times together as a group. So uh, hopefully that leads to some success when we get out there. NCAA Indoor Championships ahead on the schedule. Joining us is Amy Delgado, a member of the UMass Lowell four by four hundred relay team, and. Uh, I think you've been to, been to this place in the past, but I've got to think it's still special. Yeah, it is. It's exciting to go again. Is it different? Is a race such as this, is it different from any other Saturday or on the track? Um, we like to think it is, but we need to keep in mind that it's just any other race so we don't get too nervous to run and so we can just go out there and run as fast as we can. Is there more pressure knowing you're, you're among the best and you're competing with the best? Yeah, it definitely is. Um, it's hard to go out there knowing that everyone's just as good as you are. You know, we go to BU and we have some competition, but for the most part we're the best ones out there. So everyone's just as good as us at this meet, so we have to run hard. An awful lot of the things that take place on the track are about individual performance. As much as it's about individual performance, it's also about four individuals coordinating, performing as a team. Does that mean that there are a few more challenges in this? Um, yes and no. I mean, we get along really well. We've been running together for almost four years, like three of us have. So um, we know each other really well, and we spend a lot of time together, so we just know how everyone works together. I know last year the uh, didn't, the team didn't get the sort of results it was hoping for. No. Does that add motivation this time around? Absolutely. There's um, pretty much a lot of us going back to this meet again. And last year we had a really bad indoor meet, so we're hoping to go back for some revenge and come out with a lot of medals. Having gone, does that give you maybe a little bit of an edge in that you know what it's like, you know what it feels like there, it's not all going to be brand new. Yeah, it is. It's a lot easier being there before, having gone before, we know what to expect and what it's going to be like and how we need to prepare for it. So much of what we do during the track season, indoors or outdoors, is about the individual or team against the track, against what it is its personal best or individual's personal best. In this case, is it about this team not so much worrying about personal best as much as about winning, about beating the opponents? Uh, it, we're more just focused on winning. You just run to place. You don't worry about your time. You just got to beat the teams that are on the track. I know it, it's nerve-wracking. There's pressure. Is it fun, or do you, or does it, or does it not feel like fun till it's no, all over? It's a lot of fun. I mean, we're nervous, but we have so much fun. It's a week with our team. We love each other, and we have a lot of fun together. So, so we wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you. I know the, the idea is to have athletes peak at the right time of the year. This is the right time of the year. Do you feel as though we are at the point where our athletes are peaking? Uh, for the most part, yeah. I mean, we had a couple of hiccups along the way. Jeff's cap bothered him a little bit. Um, other than Jeff, probably, you know, I would say all the other kids are right exactly where we would hope they would be, you know, when December rolled around. You know, when we started December, say everybody but Jeff is exactly where we want to be. And he's not in a bad spot. He's just not quite exactly where we were hoping he'd be at this point. Yeah, as you mentioned, with the women's team and with some of the other athletes, there's experience. People have been there before. Does that make a difference? Is this race, this setting, the competition so different that experience does play a significant or can play a significant role? Yeah, I think just traveling that much, um, you know, getting on an airplane, getting to a meet, having to practice, you know, traveling halfway across the country, it, it makes a difference having been there before and, and, and been at that level of competition because there you have one little hiccup and you're out of the race. Um, you know, when you when you get to a meet like that, one mistake is the season. Your season ends pretty quickly on a down note. Um, I think the more times that you're there, the more successful you are. Very rarely do we have a freshman go there, kid in their first time run really well. 
and uh, I think this trip we only have one kid that's never been there before, um, and it definitely makes a difference. Some of that experience wasn't good last year. Uh, this team did not perform up to the level that it hoped. Does that serve as motivation? Does that serve as a lesson that aids performance this time? Um, I, you know, I don't think so. Um, probably maybe a little bit for the women, but I don't think at all for the men. You know, we had a bad indoor NCAA championships, and we had a very, very good outdoor NCAA championships last year. And I think that was, you know, that showed them that indoor was just a series of bad bad luck and, and you know, it wasn't really indicative of who they were. Um, you know, with the outdoor championships, finishing 11th of this team, as a team, I think every guy we brought out there beat his seed. I mean, we had about as good a meet as we could possibly have. So I think that men kind of got over their, the indoor hangover at, at the outdoor meet. And, um, you know, I think the men's team just real confident. And this is, you know, we started talking about this in July, that we could have a good team at this championship. And I think they're very motivated to do well. Saying, when we talk about the men's team, we talk, among others, we talk about Angus McDonald. He's got three different events over two days. That is a challenge. Yeah, you know, to be perfectly honest with you, we're worried about the mile and the DMR, and it's just whatever he's going to have left for that 5,000 is what he has left. Um, you know, and, and he's experienced enough and has been through enough races that you just worry about the next one. You know, you worry about the first one, then you worry about the next one, and, and you just take them one at a time, and, and you see where you're at. Um, you know, we were talking about it last night at practice, and you know, the last time we had a kid that had, you know, a serious double like that was Pat Morassi, and you know, he ended up third and fourth at the NCAs in the eight and the fifteen, and you know, it was kind of the same advice I gave him, and I told him on the last, you know, the last event, just sit in the back and see how things play out, and he ended up third or fourth in the eight hundred meters, and I said, well, if you can do that, that'd be pretty good, and we both got a pretty good laugh out of that, so. Um, you know, I, he's the kind of kid that's not going to get too caught up in anything, and he's just going to go out there and run one race at a time, and uh, he's very level-headed, so i not too worried about him. You know, I'll probably be a little bit more worried on Saturday night on his fourth race, hopefully, um, but, uh, you know, we'll just see what he has by the time we get there. I think he'll be fine through three events. That fourth one's going to be a challenge. Evan White's the number one seat. Does that mean there's more pressure on him? Is it, or is this, hey, it's just another race? Yeah, I, I think he's at the point now where he's been the number one seed in so many big events that, you know, he adds almost his expectation is, is to do that well. Um, truthfully, you know, the difference between first and fourth, first and fifth, is not a whole lot. You know, all those guys are pretty quality athletes. And, uh, you know, anywhere that he can finish in the top two or three would be a, would be a great finish for him. One of the NCAA championships, I know you've been there before, but I've got to guess it feels special. Yeah, because, I mean, anytime you can make uh, nationals, it's always, like, a pretty big deal because I mean, they take, what, like, 12 people out of, like, in each event of, like, all the teams in the country. So if you, anytime you can make it, you got to feel pretty good about yourself. Is it just another race, or is there more pressure? Is it different from other times you're competing? Um, I mean, honestly, they don't feel any pressure. I mean, as long as I go out and just run and try my best, you know, everything will kind of just, like, take care of itself. I know last year uh, this team didn't have the type of NCAA performance it was hoping for. Does that work as motivation? Is that kind of something you say, okay, I've learned from that, and we're going to, as a individually and as a group, um, improve? I mean, I don't mean personally. I mean, like, I'm not really trying to think about last year because I was that's a whole different year, and this year is this year. So, I mean, just like obviously it's gonna be in the back of my mind, but like I'm trying to like not really focus on it, just focus more on like this year. Now, I know often when we've talked, it's been about the 400. In this case, it's the 200. Are they different types of races? Um, I, definitely, because I feel like the 400 is more of like, a, you have to be a little bit more patient. And I know definitely indoors, you have to like use some strategy a little bit, because uh, indoors, you can like, um, when you're on the four, I mean, like there's people bumping against you and stuff, and you gotta like try to like break free. But the two is kind of just like your own lane, you just go out there and just run. So. It's pure acceleration? Yeah, like pure, pure acceleration. Now you're the number one seed. Mm -hmm. it, does that mean there's more pressure? You're the guy with the bullseye on the back? Um, I guess, kind of. I mean, because I know when I go there, people are probably just going to be like looking at it and saying, like, oh, that's a dude from UMass. Oh, but, I mean, I really don't think of it as like pressure. I just try to go out there and run. Because I know all the other dudes are just as fast as me. I'm going to be looking at them like the same way they look at me. So. When you're racing, when you're in this sort of thing, 
is it you against a time? Is it you against what you can do as your best? Or are you competing in a race like this? Is it you against the other athletes in the field? Um, in this, at Nationals, it's definitely me against the other athletes because I know personally I want to win. I know they want to win. So, I mean, personally, it's just going against and trying to beat as many people as possible and try to get all American. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you know, whether it's Evan or Angus or the uh, women's 4x4, four four, when they're running for a national championship, is it no longer about personal best? Is it no longer about what you can do compared to what you've done or compared to the track? Is on this occasion, it's simply about being faster than the person in the next lane and the lane next to that and so yeah, on? Th this is all just about being competitive. You know, we, we've talked about that. And, you know, a lot of times during the season, it's a time trial situation. This isn't one. Uh, this is a race. Um, it doesn't matter if you run your slowest time in the season. If you finish where you're supposed to finish, it's all good. So it's a much different mental approach, and, um, you know, that's where experience comes into. There's a lot of kids that can run fast, but they can't run fast when it counts, or they can't race if it's slow. So this is a little different experience for the kids, and uh, most of these kids have been through it. And, you know, outdoor nationals, the weather was awful. And, you know, Evan didn't run fast times, but he finished third in the 400, and we finished, I think, third in the 4 by 4 It was pretty good. You know, his times weren't great, but it was – damn good races for, for all the kids so you know that's what we're worried about we're worried about scoring as many points as we can and hopefully finishing the top 10 as a team and you know that would be a real real solid finish for us all right I guess maybe to sum it up what would bring a smile to your face when all is said and done uh, women placed in the top eight and bringing home an all-american and, and the men I think our best team finish ever was 10th and we'd like to best that you know if we can finish somewhere nine or above and they can all American, and I'd be real pleased overall with the weekend. All right, Coach. I hope you enjoy the weekend. I hope you come back with a big smile. We thank you. Certainly good luck to you and the team. Thank you very much.